Welcome to Blazing New Trails. I've got to go out and turn off the water because we're headed to Equest Fest. And Equest Fest is a horse show that's connected with the Rose Parade. So I was thinking the other day, it's been about 33 some years since I was last around horses to any extent. And I spent my childhood almost about 20 years working in the stables and the barns with my dad because we had horses of our own. Okay, we're gonna be gone for a while, so it's gonna be a relief to have the water turned off. But, you know, other than the occasional trail ride and seeing my dad, spending a little bit of time with him around his ranch and his horses, I've not been around the horse scene much since my teenage days. And so, boy, it would sure be pretty cool if we can maybe spend some time around the trailers, uh, the stables, and uh, I don't know what Linda's going to think, but hopefully she'll really enjoy this day. So let's see if she's ready. Hey there. Ready to go? I'm ready. Water's turned off. Okay. Rosie's ready. Yep. Got my little clear bag. We're going to need that, for, have the, that. Uh, for the parade. So I thought I'll just take it because I think they do bag checks. Name tags. Got yours. Check. Okay. Tickets. Tickets. Yeah. We're excited. Cool. Okay, Rosie. You be a good girl. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, let's go. We are at the Los Angeles Equestrian Center in Burbank, California. Yeah. And, and we're, we're in the stable area right now, just kind of wandering around and checking things out. You've got a few riders out this morning that are warming their horses up and getting some exercise. And we think that these horses that we that we're seeing live here. They're not part of Equest Fest. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we have a couple hours before the show, just kind of walk around, hang out, take it all in. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm kind of hoping we can sneak in the barn area so we'll <laughs> kind of see what happens there. <laughs> there are big signs that say, do not enter without permission. <laughs> Maybe we can kind of become friends with somebody and get permission to come in. Never know. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> what part are you playing in the Equest Fest today? Uh, we're with the Long, we're the Long Beach Modern Police. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're the Palominos with the Silver Parade saddles. So. How long have you been riding? Personally? Yes. I was born in a equestrian <laughs> family, so I they have videos of me at three months. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, this one here I raised. This is Peppy, he's 28 years old. He's been in a lot nice. of race. Yeah. Wow. Yep. How long do horses usually live? It depends. He's getting up there. <laughs> yeah. But well, we've had we had a drill team horse that was 32 and still performing. She made it to 33. Depends on how well they're taking care of. How are you doing? I rode him in Glacier Park and I oh, that's rode neat. down the Mexican border and I rode his half sister in the Pacific north of LA and and um, my old horse I rode in the Atlantic so we've covered everything except Alaska. Yeah, that's a long way. And I work yeah. in Alaska, so if you're watching oh. this, hello. <laughs> Dutch Harbor, Bruno Bay, Nome. Yeah. All my workplaces. Wow. Um, so you've been around. Yeah, yeah, so I ordered the belt buckle. When I want to get a picture of that. Can I get a picture? Where do they take our tickets? At the gate, I guess. Oh, my God. Two uh, cushions? Yes. yes. Uh, and they have pins for you as well. Awesome. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, we just got a pin from the Long Beach Police Department. So. 
Um, some of us have mass collection pins. I, I don't. Okay. You got those ones. We're, we're yes. good. Great. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, we'll take pins. You bet. Thank you. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm a pin person. <laughs> uh, we're doing a quick back check. So oh, back yes. Check. Uh, thank you. Sure. This fella needs to bone up on his tombstone movie. Uh, yeah. The Saddlemakers Kettle Drive. What I've seen, I like. Riding in the Rosemary. I'm going to make it up now. And I post clips. Boots. Actually, now twice a week and then a full episode every week. But yeah. the clip I posted this week is from me riding in the Rosemary. X. And like what it's like getting the horses ready and yeah. down yeah, on the right. freeway That's at 4 so a.m. and all that stuff. Wow. It has been an incredible morning so far. And the show hasn't even started. We, we, well, we've been here less than two hours and just walking around the stables and the trailers. Uh, we've talked to so many people and really experienced so many different sites. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just been amazing. Yeah. So, the show will start in about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. And uh, there's lots of booths, vendors, food. And just the nicest people you'd ever want to meet. So, what do you have a favorite? What we've seen so far? You know, I pretty much have to say the couple that we just saw a few minutes ago that were um, the reenactment couple. Yes, so nice. Gave us so much of their time yeah. to just chat and talk about Tombstone. <laughs> Western movies that we should watch. Yes, yes. <laughs> and she and I bonded over Outlander <laughs> and Somewhere in Time. <laughs> it's just been a great experience so far, and we are really looking forward to the show. Yeah. I, it, for me, it's hard to pick any one thing out. But, you know, just being around the horses. Yeah. You know, I think that Yellowstone wagon was pretty cool. And then the, uh, the ladies that we saw, the reenactment ladies. Uh, that that yes. was... The Victorian ladies. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that, that all the period cool. dresses. That was so cool. Yeah. So, all right. more to come. And yeah. It's going to get more, even more exciting. <laughs> First Cavalry Division keeps these maps to remind us that even though the face of war may shift and change, not runners! Still, we are the Cavalry.
one great star. And again, 87 years in the parade of the fact that are all people there. They have done all that. The Wisconsin! My name is Wayne Williams, and I am proud to be back here again. I enjoyed coming out. Well, we're back. <laughs> that was a fun day. It was amazing. I, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Yeah, that was, that was good. How, how about uh, our new acquaintance that we met with the Long Beach Mounted Patrol and yeah. seeing her at the end? That, that was I pretty wish cool. that we would have gotten her name yeah. because she was just such a sweetheart. And she, yeah, to be able to just kind of yell out to her, you know, and have her find us. Um, she was so generous with her time beforehand. And yeah. That was really pretty special. Yeah. And I just think that, <clears throat> you know, they only know their own little community. They usually don't know many people in the stands. So to have her just, oh, hi, she knew somebody <laughs> up in the stands. Hello, Southwest Wisconsin. There you go. <laughs> so who are you riding in the parade with? Thank you. And Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, that, that was fun. Well, before the show, we talked about our favorite things that we enjoyed. What about the show itself? Is there something that really stands out to you? Something maybe kind of unexpected? I think just the different types of horses that um, that were there. I really liked the ones that, um, the one Hermanos equestrian group i'm not sure of their name but they had these horses that had tails that just went all the way down big fluffy tails that went all the way down to the ground and then to, like a veil like a long veil and then the hair on their head came way down to um i thought over they were eyes. over their eyes yeah so i thought that was pretty cool i like the arabian women and their horse the arabian horses those were really cool arabians too. are beautiful horses yeah and then um, the cannon. <laughs> I'm sure that on the video, you can't you can't tell <laughs> how amazing the sound was, how loud it was, because there's a roof over us, and the sound just bounced off the roof. And they told us ahead of time, cover your ears, and we did. And I think the roof that's was shaking. How it, I think that's kind of how it came across on the video was if you had your ears closed and then um, and then heard it. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What was the favorite part of the show? You know, m maybe several different aspects. One is the horsemanship. Just uh, some of these 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 ladies, the lady that ladies that were riding, doing their tricks. Um, doing their choreographed writing and you know you, you see some of that some of that done with motorcycles and whatnot but with horses you know the, the timing just really has to be precise so that you don't have any collisions so so that was a lot of fun um one thing we were talking about this uh i'd never really seen anybody riding side saddle Hmm. Other than maybe movies or whatnot, but you know nothing in person, and that that was really different um, because you only had you had one person riding side saddle, and uh, it it really takes you know a a really good rider to to be able to to do that. Mm -hmm. So and maybe the the last thing is at the start with all of the the groups coming in and the flag presentation um that just really i think that was really a, a great way to start off the program yeah i think my favorite part of the whole thing and let me back up let me start by saying when we had dinner last night with our group our hosts had said we're going to have a couple of hours after we get there before the show starts so walk around you know and get a feel for the place whatever if you'd like um Sometimes you can go backstage um, to where the horses are and where they're prepping everything. So, you know, you know, sometimes they'll let you back there and sometimes not. Just if you want to, just go back and act like you own the place, you know, and like you belong, like you belong. there. Yeah, so we did just that. And that's why we got um, the footage that we got. And just to be able to take those two hours, meet people, get up close to the horses, watch them 
prepping the horses and the carriages, get everything ready. Um, and everybody was just so open and welcoming. And uh, so I think that was probably my favorite part. And I didn't step in horse manure one time. <laughs> That's a big accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was everywhere. You just have to watch your feet all the time. <laughs> watch where you walk. But yeah, you, you walk around like you belong. Yeah. And you know what you're doing. Right. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that, too. Yeah. So, it's been a long time since I've been kind of around the, the trailer vibe. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. So, tomorrow we've got Band Fest. Which band Fest. That's going to be another exciting day. Yeah, it's supposed to rain <laughs> overnight and into the morning. So, yeah. hopefully, it stops before we get there. Uh, but we'll come prepared right so, yeah, just to show you that too. So that, that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I love marching bands. They're yeah. so much fun. Ever since um, Drumline with Nick Cannon, I loved that movie. And now I, I really like drumlines and, and marching bands in general. So this should be fun. So we appreciate you watching. And uh, obviously more to come and we're looking forward to the rest that's to come. Yeah. And so we'll be looking forward to seeing you on the trails. Bye for now. Bye.